Hi, I'm Tony Montalto. This is Kyle Trandum. We're at the FS Curtis factory here in St. Louis, Missouri. And today we're going to show you how to properly do a pump up time test on a reciprocating air compressor. This does come up often out in the field. Very often the end user customers are feeling that their air compressor isn't pumping properly. Maybe the rings are worn or the, they have some uh, valve problems. So the only way to properly test it is to do a pump up time test. So to do that test, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you can isolate the compressor receiver tank from your compressed air system, whether it be piping, filters, dryers, tanks, whatever downstream. Um, so on this machine, we have a ball valve right here on the discharge of the tank. So you're going to want to make sure that you can close that off. Um, and then the other important thing is knowing the capacity of the compressor receiver tank, because that's going to determine how you do the calculation for the pump up time test. Um, and this one here in particular is a 120 gallon tank. So what you're going to do in order to do the test is um, you're going to isolate it. So it's just the tank. You're going to run the compressor up to 100 PSI, which is on the gauge here. The tank's currently at 100 PSI. You're then going to want to turn the compressor off at 100. And then what you'll do is with it isolated, so it's just filling up this receiver tank, you'll turn the well. You'll start it, Tony's gonna start a stopwatch. I'm gonna turn the compressor on at 100, and then we're going to time it from 100 to 150 PSI. When it reaches 150 PSI, I'll turn the compressor off, and then we're gonna record how long that took us to do that test. So now I'm gonna turn on with the tank at 100, and Tony's gonna start his timer here, and we are going to go. Are you ready, Tony? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Okay, and now that the compressor is at 150 PSI, Tony stopped his timer. And now we're going to take the recording of how long it took to go from 100 to 150 PSI. And we're going to use that in the calculation to determine the CFM for the compressor. Okay, now we're going to do our math to check the performance of our air compressor. We did our timing back in the shop. And we went from 100 PSI to 150 PSI in 1 minute and 18 seconds. So here's our formula that we're going to use. CFM equals cubic feet per minute multiplied by P2 minus P1 divided by 14.7. So CFM is the air compressor flow. That's what we're uh, trying to calculate. That's what we're solving for. Cubic feet is the size of the tank. Okay, and to get uh, from gallons to cubic feet, you divide the gallons by 7.5. <clears throat> Excuse me, minutes is the timing that uh, we did on our stopwatch to do the test. P2 is the ending pressure, the 150 PSI we used in this case. P1 is the starting pressure. In this case, we did 100, and we have to divide by 14.7. So let's plug in our numbers here. 120 gallon tank divided by 7.5. And a minute, 18 seconds, we have to be in minutes, okay? So it's, that's 1.3 minutes. And we're going to multiply that by 150 minus 100. So we have a 50 PSI differential there. Divided by 14.7. And doing all this math, it comes out to 42 CFM. So if you look up one of our data sheets, we did our Curtis CA-10, and that does deliver 42 CFM at 175 PSI. So this test worked out. Uh, performance is right on the money. The compressor is pumping properly. Thank you.